Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a promo Friday today, and we don't have any confirmation on what promo we're gonna be getting, but we have some leaks, right? Leaks have been very accurate, and it's just been the way that we've learned about content this year in FIFA. And we have some leaks about a showdown promo. It might be one of those weeks, like we've seen a couple times before this year, where there's no special cards coming into packs today, but there's going to be a lot of SBCs and potentially objectives for showdown cards, right? We love the showdown SBCs from throughout this year of FIFA already. We've already had some great cards released, live upgrading based off of one match between two different players. I love the concept, and it seems like we're having a lot of those cards coming up in the next couple of days with this like showdown promo that we might be seeing. So I want to take a look at that today, but also how the market's going to react to that with fantasy foot cards going out of packs. Would EA do anything crazy today as it is April Fool's Day? Would they do a foot player days promo? Would they do foot captains or, you know, even release the fantasy foot cards back into packs for another week or something crazy like that? We'll talk through the potential of all those things happening today in the video as well. So if you're curious about a showdown promo, or maybe if you're excited about showdown SBCs like I am, hit the thumbs up on the video. And of course, subscribe if you are new. Let's get into all the information, right? Because there's a lot to decipher and to think about. Again, none of this is really confirmed. It's just all looking at some leaks, thinking about how EA might want to do things, remembering that we are only a couple weeks away from team of the season. But this is the main leak. This is like kind of the main trend with the leaks that we have seen over the past day or so is that this showdown concept is legit going to be coming. And it makes sense, right? With all of the showdown cards that were leaked in the past day or two, right? Again, I'm going to show you all these leaks here in a second as we click through these really fast. But there's a lot of cool cards that have been released to have showdowns. And we haven't really heard too much about foot captains or hero cards coming back into packs. So it really seems like today might be the start of like one of those weeks, like Silver Stars series or the Squad Foundations series, couple two weeks that we had earlier this year in FIFA where there was no cards and packs, just SBCs and objectives um, as kind of like a uh, break week or a no promo week kind of in FIFA, but still releasing some pretty cool content. That might be what this next week brings us in FIFA 22. Foot Sheriff says that there are eight showdowns added to come, including an objective and a silver showdown, which maybe takes the place of like silver stars, if you will, which is kind of cool. Again, you guys remember some of the insane cards that we have had this year through the uh, showdown SBCs, right? Arigi. Arigi is one of the most popular showdowns that we have had. We've had guys like the Darmian SBC, who has been a great showdown card where they got the upgrade, Sule. PK, DePaul, there's so many great showdown items that we have had this year. And with the leaks that we see, there could be a lot of potential more great cards that get upgrades and stuff like that. So I'm kind of excited for this. Even though there's not new cards and packs, I think this is something to get pretty excited about. So let's start taking a look through the leaked showdown cards that we have right now. As of right now, we have four that are leaked. One of these, this one right here, is an objective according to Foot Sheriff. He says this one's going to be our objective and if it is, I would expect it to drop today, right? Usually on Promo Fridays, we get an objective and an SBC and if this one's going to be our objective, Tiago Mendez and Yarmolenko might somehow be, I don't know how EA would have you do this, like two different cards and you have to complete objectives to get them both. Uh, you guys that are objective grinders are going to absolutely love this. That looks like a pretty nice league gun midfielder. Also, Yarmolenko, pretty dope card as well. Um, for the Europa League game that will be upcoming this next week, that's what this showdown will be for. So I think that's pretty cool. Never had a showdown objective before. And it looks like we might be getting one of those today. Again, plus one to the win. Plus one if it's a draw. Plus two if there's a full-time winner between any of these two teams that are represented through these showdowns that we're about to look through. That's how these cards upgrade once again. We might see these in the game today. Now let's take a look at some of the SBC leaks. We've already seen this one from a couple days ago. Weston McKenney and Brozovic from this game coming on Sunday between Juve and Inter. Those are some pretty dope cards right there. Don't know which one of these SBCs we're going to be seeing today. This one was leaked first, so we might be seeing it sooner on. Maybe they're going to drop multiple showdowns today on Friday because there's multiple of these games that we're going to look at that are this weekend that they have to allow a little bit of time for. So that's another pair of showdowns that we could see. Here's another one that was leaked yesterday. Benjamin Pavard and Serge Aurier, right? Serge Aurier, first promo card this year. Same thing with Pavard. 
Of course, everybody is going to do Pavard from this SBC. As long as this is not overpriced, everybody's going to want to do this guy. French right backs are hard to come by in this game. I know we have Klaus and he's very hype, but this Pavard with especially the Bundesliga links, perfect link to that Lucas Hernandez road to the final as well. That's a pretty interesting card. Aurier looks pretty nice for a League One right back. And he links to the Lo Celso objective. Another former Spurs card as well. GG's EA Sports um, getting released. So that could be one that we see. This game's not until, of course, next week, though, with Champions League. So maybe this will be a little bit later on in the promo. Maybe we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. Um, but then this is the fourth and final one that is leaked right now. Braithwaite and Suso. This one, I think, might be coming pretty soon because this game is coming on Sunday as well. Again, if you look at the cards that are getting specials inside of these showdowns, that's why I love showdowns. And I think that's why a lot of people on FIFA like showdowns as well, is because these cards don't ever get special items. If you take a look at all these leaked items, um, Brozovic might have an inform or something like that, but like every single one of these cards like doesn't have any specials. Thiago Mendes, Aurier, Pavard, no specials for either of those. Braithwaite, Suso, very few specials for Suso of any. And then Braithwaite doesn't have any specials this year. It's cool because we're getting cards. They're getting stat boosts that are nice, that are very in the meta of the game right now. Even though they might not be the most meta cards, they're usable cards with stats that fit into the power curve at the moment. And they're just cards that we wouldn't normally see um, performance-based upgrades for or inside of a promo team or anything like that. That's why I'm a fan of these showdowns, and that's what this whole week might be. That's what it's kind of sounding like it's going to turn out to be is a promo week with just a lot of objectives and SBCs based around the showdown cards, which I do think is a W. So, again, with all of the stress of what was leaked right now, the stress is on the SBC section on the game, right? It doesn't sound like there's going to be much in relation to cards in packs as it is with this promo. Now, there's still a couple options, right? They could do a few things. Of course, today is April Fool's. If they want to pull anything crazy over top of us, they could drop the Foot Player Days promo. This is something that we've seen around this time in years past where they drop past special cards from other promo teams back into packs. It always crashes the market. It always drops fodder like crazy because most of the time what they do with a Foot Player Days promo is they release two for one packs or especially with preview packs being in the game this year, they could release preview packs. I think the likelihood of that happening today is small, but it could happen. It's just all up to EA and what they really wanna do with that market today. So I would say a very small chance for the Foot Player Days promo to be dropping. Also, very, very small chance for Foot Captains and new Foot Heroes on the game. It doesn't sound like those leaks are really taken shape still i mean we've heard, we've heard about foot captains and new versions of foot heroes in this game for like the last two months but we don't have anything super concrete still as of yet so maybe that'll change as we head into today watch twitter for leaks of course but it sounds like we might not have any cards in packs and if it's consistent with the other series promos that we have had earlier this year which were objective and sbc based we wouldn't have any cards in packs this week so um, you know, unless EA do something crazy or like put both fantasy foot teams back into packs for a week, which they haven't done in a long time since like last year or two years ago, you know, putting teams back into packs after they leave, that's very unlikely in my opinion. So if you've invested in any of these cards, this weekend's a huge weekend for these, of course, but a lot of the market is probably going to stay pretty stagnant today. That's what I would imagine. And, you know, as we transition to talking about a lot of market things, I know a lot of people have invested in these Fantasy Foot Team 2 cards. I've bought a few of these cards. Um, I bought some Martinelli's down in the 520,000 coin range. Um, and I believe he is around like 540. So he's rebounded back up. That marquee matchup supply from yesterday was the exact perfect time period to be buying up these sort of cards, right? Alwar was like 830,000 coins. He is now in the upper um, 800 range. So if you if you did buy during that time frame yesterday, that was a big W, right? Alwar is up like 40,000 coins. Sissoko was down at like 440, 430 on Snipe. And he was just like 470 an hour ago. I think right now he's about 460K or maybe he's still around 470. But a lot of these cards have gone up in price. And again, like I mentioned, there still could be room for rise on these cards this weekend, depending on how their teams play. Hincompi, right? I still don't know how to say this guy's name, but the, the Leverkusen center back that so many people have been investing in, he's up 
another 10,000 coins. Sandro is up 10k. Dembele, Coutinho, Bamba was just 320k. You got an undercut there. Atal is up to 233. Look at the rise on that card. I think Atal and Bamba are two of the most invested in cards, uh, along with this Hinkapi card. Those are like the three most invested cards out of this whole team. But if, as long as there's no surprises from EA Sports today, then I think these cards are probably going to, going to trickle up out of packs just like the cards from team number one did. Now, these fantasy foot cards from team one have risen a lot because they've been out of packs for a week now. I don't think, again, like we talked about, I don't think these fantasy foot cards from team two are going to explode today unless, uh, you know, something crazy happens. And especially like tomorrow or on Sunday, if, uh, you know, let's say like Sissoko scores a goal and he's not really expected to, well, boom, that's an automatic plus one. You know, they're not expected to win the game against Liverpool, but if he were to score a goal, then he would get a plus one when it's not really expected. So that's just kind of what you have to watch out for with these cards this weekend. I did buy a couple of them, probably looking for a quick flip, especially if there's no brand new cards in packs today. People are going to just go out and try cards off on the market and buy cards to try out. Uh, just because there's nothing new that people can set their sights on to sell other cards to go and try out today. So that's what I would expect the market to be like. If there's no lightning rounds as well, then you know what that means. We're going to be have to keep in a close eye on SBC fodder. This stuff is still low. But again, one great thing about fodder right now is that the supply, if there's no cards in packs, Again, like we're talking about, if there's no cards in packs, EA is not going to be running lightning rounds. And that would mean there's no more supply for these cards. And that means these cards should start to rise, especially if we're having a week filled with SBC content like showdowns. I would still imagine they would keep icon upgrade packs active. Maybe on Sunday, we'll get more icon moments, player SBCs. We have a Del Piero and a Schmeichel that are still leaked. Um, I would also think that EA Sports would continue to do campaign bags or year in review player picks or some sort of gamble packs of that nature because what we've seen in the previous promos when this is, stuff has gone on is except for silver stars uh but like weeks before big promos like team of the season is on the horizon they're going to use this time to try to drain a lot of coins off of the market so that's kind of one thing that if you're looking at sbc fodder today I wouldn't be super scared if you see no content, no cards in packs, just a couple SBCs. You might be able to go and buy some of that fodder and then hold it for the next week or double down on your fodder investment. And EA is going to keep releasing SBCs. So if there's nothing in packs and there's no promise of like crazy stuff to come out into packs, then I think that fodder could rise over the next week during this showdown promo. So that's kind of what I'm looking at from a market perspective on what might happen today. Now I've invested a decent amount of my coins, not a ton. I bought a couple road to the finals, a couple of these cards, um, you know, just because they're going out of packs, they're pretty rare. Uh, and I still do have some fodder. I bought a Roberto Carlos at one. Okay. He is 1.55 now at the moment. I'm going to list this dude for 1540, 1.540. Bought that for one four lows. That could be a good flip. Uh, I got this Denayer yesterday when the Medina SBC dropped, we, which we can talk about that for a second. This Denayer dropped. But again, if there's a Tiago Mendez that's coming out today, that would be a green link to this Denayer card. Again, I got these Martinelli's in like the low 520 to 530 range where I got most of my other ones on my transfer list still as well. So right now, the only worry is if you bought cards yesterday, you're only a little bit worried that EA Sports might drop some insane content. You could continue to keep an eye on some of these Road to the Finals and some of these Fantasy Foot cards. If they do dip down in price at all this morning on Friday, that could be another opportunity to invest in them a little bit. I, I wouldn't think that they would um, drop that much, but you, you know, you never you never know um, what kind of panic we could be seeing this morning or if there is some crazy panic of EA Sports going to drop something crazy today on April Fool's Day, maybe as a joke or something like that. You know, just keep an eye on some of these cards that are going out of packs because they could slowly rise up, of course, after that content drop uh, does happen and, and those cards come out. So that's kind of what I would watch for on the market today in that sort of realm, uh, since there shouldn't be a lot of supply on this game. Now, a couple things. First thing is we have to talk about this as well. Since it is April Fool's Day, um, and EA have been jokesters before. I don't know how legit this is, and I don't know if this is a joke in its own right, but Foot Sheriff retweeted this tweet by Foot Scoreboard saying a new pack has been added, April Fool incoming. It says bronze player pack guarantees one bronze player, and it has an asterisk by it. 
Um, now, if I go back actually, and if I look on Footshare's profile, um, and this is me doing a little bit of my research right here, he retweeted this tweet, but this looks really, this looks kind of sus. It's really grainy. It's not very good quality. And if I look down through the other tweets that this account puts out, this is, uh, this is really worse quality compared to a lot of this stuff. But also, I'm just doing a little more research here. You see ID 1139. These were the last packs that were added. This pack right here is ID 1140. So I don't know if this is a bad screenshot or what's going on here. But there might be some sort of like uh, April Fool's pack that EA could release today as part of content as well. Who knows what this would be. But knowing EA Sports, I don't think it would be anything ridiculous. Um you know, maybe they're going to give you like a one player pack with like um, one of certain number of promo cards in it or, you know, like an 83 plus pack. I, I don't even know what this could be, but just keep a potential eye out for something related to uh, an April Fool's joke uh, from EA Sports today as well. That would probably be an SBC or objective or a free pack. Um, just uh, seeing that on Twitter tonight and had, having to address it, of course, but definitely unsure about how that is going to go across today on this game. So again, uh, we'll take a look at the Medina SBC now, but for today on content on Friday, it really seems like it might be at a bit of a day where people log on, see what it is, maybe you're a little underwhelmed, and then log off, unless EA have something crazy up their sleeve. By the way, this Medina SBC, a lot of people are looking at it and like, this card is not good. 80 acceleration is bad. The price um, threshold at 180K is not that good, but potential upgrades this guy could very easily get a plus two or a plus three for lens uh they could keep a clean sheet you know very easily they could get a win and he does play just about every game so this is another league one center back that does have the potential to get upgraded he's out for six days so they do have a game this weekend so you might be able to wait and see how they perform on the weekend i'm gonna actually take a look right now and see which day they play they play on sunday the third of april RC Lens plays against Strasbourg. Strasbourg is fifth in the standings and Lens is in eighth. So if they play really well um, and they end up getting a win, potentially a clean sheet, or, uh, you know, especially if Medina plays, which he has been playing just about every one of their games, we could have a plus two on the way before the SBC expires. And in that case, then there'll be a lot more people wanting to go get that card done, which would be very interesting to see. Same thing with Malin, right? I'm pretty sure that... Um, I'm pretty sure that Dortmund play on Saturday. Is that correct? Yeah, Dortmund play Leipzig on Saturday. Ooh, big match up there too. So, you know, if Malin scores a goal and Dortmund win, then all of a sudden this is a 90 rated card in the next week and you want to go do that SBC, right? So that's just kind of the stuff you have to watch for those cards that are still lingering out there uh, in the game related to the fantasy foot. And again, like I mentioned, as we go out through this weekend, we're going to be watching these fantasy foot cards very closely. There may not be new cards in the packs that will create a lot of hype and a lot of content for new cards, right? But there's going to be a ton of people that have invested in cards like this or the road to the finals that are going out of packs. They're going to have everybody's attention and there's going to be a lot of price swings and price movements. It is going to be a great weekend to make coins because of these live cards and next week as well. I mean, you take a look at some of the prices that I'm seeing still for these team one cards. I mean, Jelson Martins is 750,000, 740. That's ridiculous. Like this guy, he's almost doubled in price in a week. He's up 300K, over 300K in a week. It's ridiculous how much this guy has gone up. I know he's meta, but still, for a lot of these cards, like I sold my John Stones at uh, at 550. I talked about it last night on the video, right? I think John Stones is still right now around 530, 540. I'm happy taking that cash. I think that once these cards get to their upgrade time, which I think they're going to upgrade these on Wednesdays, unless they do it earlier, that'd be even crazier for the market. We'll have to keep an eye out on that and see if EA provide us with any correspondence on that. But these fantasy foot cards are going to be a lot of the hype this weekend as well, since the games are finally here for how they will upgrade. So just keep an eye on the market because there's going to be a lot of fluctuations to trade in and trade out. Um, especially today on Friday, if you see panic selling, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to snap up some panic selling. If you see really good prices on rare cards, right? Rare is the key. It's got to be rare because if it's not rare, then it's not going to fluctuate. And especially if it's not meta or hype, then people aren't going to buy that up and, and go and, you know, potentially buy that card for whatever reason. It's hype or upgrades or whatever. It's got to be rare and it's got to be hype. So that's kind of today on FIFA, man. I'm excited for showdowns, right? I think a lot of those showdown cards would be fun. 
and showdowns have been well priced this year so we will see what kind of content ea does drop if you want to watch it live check the twitch tv link down below in the description i'll be live streaming there um, for the content drop today it should be a lot of fun hopefully ea knock it out of the part with this SBC content guys like me that have invested we don't want anything crazy no preview packs no cards and packs no foot player days none of that ea sports That'd be a crazy market day if they did any of that. But regardless of what happens, we'll be covering it on the Twitch stream and, of course, the YouTube video tomorrow after it all does happen. We'll break it down in tomorrow's YouTube video. So if you're excited for the content today, smash a thumbs up on the video. Again, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.